Hi, today I'm bringing you the second in a multi-week series on how paid advertising worked for my book when I actually tested it late last year. I'll be sharing with you what I learned along the way, so stay tuned. Hi, I'm MK Williams. I'm an author and independent publisher, and I love sharing all things self-publishing with you. Before I get started in today's topic, don't forget to hit subscribe. That way, every week when I release new videos, you'll be updated as I share my self-publishing and career author journey. So in the last installment in this series, I talked about what I needed to do mentally to learn, research, and just prepare to do Amazon ads for my books. So these are paid ads for my books. I had never done them before in four years of self-publishing, and so I wanted to try them. I did decide that I was going to invest some of the profit back into the publishing line of my business. So I had to think of, okay, what book do I wanna advertise? So for me, I thought, okay, well, Enemies of Peace was my third book. It was released in 2017. It had the highest amount of reviews to date. It was my most successful book at the time. Or would I promote The Infinite Infinite, which was brand new. So when I started these ads in November of 2019, that book had literally just come out that same month. So based on the categories and keywords and the potential for the hot new release boost that I could hopefully get, I selected the infinite infinite for the book that I was going to advertise. So the categories for enemies of peace, which were, you know, literary suspense, literary fiction, um, they were much more expensive than the more niche, like sci-fi adventure keywords. Um, and also when I talked to another author, she said that when you, um, are in that first 30 days that your book is released, any extra boost in sales like continues to just add to that algorithm juice. So I thought, okay, I'm in those first 30 days for the infinite infinite, that's the one I wanna go with. What I did is all of the books that I used when I was researching the infinite infinite, um, I used those as actually lookalike ads or product ads. So if somebody was searching for um, Dark Matter by Blake Crouch, which was one of the books I read as research for the infinite infinite, that was one of the books that I targeted um, and one of the authors that I targeted as well. So if you're looking for The Man in the High Castle as well, or underground airlines I wanted my book to be in front of you because I thought that there was a good chance that you would also like my book as well it was in the same vertical within sci-fi of multiverse travel alternative history things of that nature following some of the tips from Dave Chesson's course um, I took some keywords to start with as well so I used time travel fiction alternative history science fiction alternative history um, so kind of going along the lines of really boiling down those keywords so I have this long list now of keywords to target um, and lookalikes to target as well, but I narrowed my initial campaign to something I knew I could manage daily. So a cap that I could live with. So if I started with hundreds of campaigns, I could have spent a lot of money all in one day and I didn't you know, wanna risk that. I wanted to get my feet wet first. So I thought about what some of the best comps were for the book um, and what the best price categories were um, when I was looking at those. So my initial requirements were cost per click, so CPC under 70 cents. I know that means that they're getting less traffic. Usually the less expensive ones mean they're not popular, but if I need to optimize my text, I'd rather do that at a 70 cent cost than at a $1.25 cost. So I saw this as my opportunity to just get my feet wet, get comfortable with the platform, get comfortable with the optimizations and the bidding system. I also went with lookalike books that were popular when I was doing research for the book. So that had actually been a couple years ago. So the CPCs were lower than books that were super popular the moment that I was launching the book. Because again, I didn't just wanna bid up on something this popular at that moment, I wanted to actually get in front of the readers who I thought would like my book. So I really took my time looking into the keywords, thinking about the best copy for each segment for that keyword and monitoring the cost of each segment over the course of a week to see how much it would fluctuate before I hit go on anything. So preparing to launch your ads is very important and that's why I'm giving you this entire video on just preparing, like not just even like doing research, but hey, I built out the keywords, I know what my ad text is gonna be, I know what the price ranges are. Um, so again, feeling really confident knowing that when I hit go, when I hit, you know, submit campaign that it was going to be successful and I was aware of all that could happen and some of the variables that could fluctuate. So this is, again, everything to prepare. So you're noticing so far two of these three videos in this series of Amazon advertising is preparation. And that's something I really want you to take to heart is that the preparation is key. It's not just throwing something up there, crossing your fingers, hoping it works. And then when it doesn't saying like, oh man, I don't know why that didn't work. Um, so you wanna be almost scientific in your process with it to say, this is my plan. These are my keywords. If this text doesn't work, I'm gonna change this text. If this doesn't work, I'm gonna do this. 
So that way you can make those optimizations quickly instead of just panicking in the moment and thinking, this isn't working, uh, I'm just gonna shut it off. Um, you wanna make sure you have those planned. So if you have found this information helpful, please let me know by giving this video a thumbs up and drop your questions in the comments below. I'm definitely happy to help any way that I can. If you haven't already, please hit subscribe. That lets YouTube know that you're getting value from the content I'm putting out and that you want to be here every week when I release new videos. And now you can get back to writing your book. Mm -hmm.